What's up guys, we're back with a video. Today we're gonna do something different. We're gonna be working on John's brand new Tacoma TRD 4x4. And so John, tell us what kind of parts we're installing right now. So pretty much we're just gonna put a grill on. This grill comes with the, uh, it's not the actual sensor, but it comes with the glass so you can use the sensor. And the Toyota is actually color matched to the cement of the truck. So it should be pretty cool. So it should, should be a nice install. Hopefully everything goes smooth. We're gonna show you all the stock grill and then we're gonna go through the process bits and pieces of what we need to do to get the new grill on. By the way, I'm filming with iPhone 11 Pro for the first time, so let me know below what y'all think about the quality. So this here is the stock grill that comes on the TRD 4x4 package. And as you can see right here, Toyota's integrated a uh, radar, I guess it's a cruise control sensor. And in the new grill, John was mentioning, that's the glass piece that he was referring to. It kind of blends in with it so you can't tell from far away, but that's gonna help us retain the stock sensor. So that's gonna replace where this Toyota badge is. Adaptive cruise control, that's what it's called. Yeah. So we're gonna probably have to take out some of these push tabs and wow, there's so much space in here, John. Yeah, dude, I could fit a train horn or something. Yeah, the light bar install, if you do it back there, should be pretty easy. Oh yeah, for sure. All right, so we're gonna start by removing these two 10 millimeter bolts at the top, and then we're gonna also get a little flathead or something and pop out these push rivets. Is that what they're called? Something like that. Yeah, something like that. So we're gonna start unscrewing these and see what else is gonna be attaching the grill before we pull it off. By the way, we're winging this. We're not using any instructions. Yeah, cause. We we don't use instructions, we're uh, professionals. <laughs> we're trained professionals. John speaks to you up. I'm gonna put John's Instagram link in the comments below. You guys give John a follow and hit him up for your mechanic needs. All right, so push rivets and the bolts are out and there was only four things holding it in place. There you go, John. Wow. Slides right out. No, Toyota makes it simple. If you squeeze this on all the sides, it's a little bit tricky to do, but this comes out. Then, same thing over here, except I'm more gonna pull it. And then you can just unplug this. And that's the harness to your adaptive cruise control. And that's it. Looks good. So we're gonna be taking out on the back of this grill. There's the control module for the adaptive cruise control. We're gonna have to remove this and reinstall it to the new grill. That way we can plug this back in and retain the adaptive cruise control like we mentioned earlier. All right, so once again, we're gonna take the 10 millimeter and we're gonna undo the bolts on each side. Oh, uh, it looks like there's one screw right here holding it in. Uh, one Phillips right there. So I think all of these blue markings is what's holding it in. So there's blue, blue, blue. I guess you wanna unscrew anything that had a blue marking on it. Let's see. There, there it go. goes. All right, so that's the sensor. And I guess that needs a special type of glass, which you'll see on the other side, so that this sensor can read through it. The wavelength's gotta be able to travel, bro. Oh yeah, bro. <laughs> All right, so what are we doing now, John? So right now, I think these screws have to come out. I know there are a bunch of tabs, but I think the screws come out as well. So I'm gonna take the screws out and go from there. Like we said, we're literally just winging this, so. So the screws are holding on the actual grill to the the trim piece. So we need to remove the two so that we can insert the new grill to the original trim piece and reinstall the entire mechanism. So pretty much the way you do this, you kind of just press on these tabs and you go from, you start on one side, then you just press them and go all the way around. And it'll get a little bit harder as you do more and more, but it eventually should just start sliding out just like this. You can also use like a flathead or a Phillips head and kind of press it and push it out. And make sure you don't drop it because you can probably sell this part. And that's out. Boom. There we go. And reinstalling it should be easier because those push tabs are one way, so it should be easier. Just pop them all back in. Good. No grill look. Oh, dude, as much arrow as you could possibly grill get. Grill Save delete. two pounds. Get a max airflow to the grill. Oh, yeah. All right, so time for the new grill to go pop right in. Just line it up. If I can line it up. Then you start pressing all around. Where it pays to make sure it's lined up because I don't know if it's lined up actually. But I'm just gonna send it.
Yeah, that's gonna look so nice. There we go. You'll hear it whenever it actually ends up in there. Sweet. All right, now time to reinstall that uh, radar sensor and then we should be good to set the entire grill back into the vehicle. The screws too? Yes. So actually on this one, we found out that you only use two screws and this may vary from brand to brand because this isn't OEM to uh, Toyota, but it seems like it should hold pretty well because there are like a million clips on it, so. Time to reinstall the radar. All right, so another important part is you have to take these out to actually mount the new one on. So definitely don't forget these. Like power said, move, power move. Power move, we're winging it. <laughs> Up here, where it did before. But when it comes to this part, I want to put it right here, but I also don't want to strain the wires. So what you can do, if you kind of flip this over, you can see that there are grooves right here and there's kind of this locking thing. If you get a small flathead underneath that, somehow it should open up. It's basically like a zip tie mechanism. Yeah, that's just to loosen it up so we can actually move it. There we go. It's even barely moving now. Then you can just stick that back in there and tighten it back up. So the reason we did that is because we're trying to hide the, the wire behind the solid plastic pieces. That way you can't see it through the mesh from the front end of the vehicle. It'll give it a cleaner look in the end. And the details is like this is what makes John's Fix You Up the best mechanic shop in all of Sugarland. Hell yeah, brother. You up. <laughs> Honestly. All right, so this part, you're pretty much just gonna take this plug it back in and try and line it up so it doesn't scratch anything and make sure it's gonna go in and just push it in place. Then, if I can find those pieces, literally all you do is you take this, put it here, push it in, take this screw, put it here, Tighten it, and you do the exact same on the other side, and you're done. And that's actually it. Boom. Done. What do you think? How does it look? Dude, it looks really nice. Oh, it looks really mean. Let me try this. Oh yeah. Killed it, looks sick. Dude, especially with the um, with the color matched Toyota. Yes, definitely. So this is what we meant by color matched. It's the same cement gray in the lettering as it is on the body. So I guess we'll do some pictures of it, get a thumbnail, and mm -hmm. we should be good to go. Alright guys, that concludes the first part of the build series. I know it was a pretty simple mod that we began with, but in my opinion, it's one of the best aesthetic mods you can do to these Tacomas. And it's pretty simple, anybody can do it at home with basic tools. As you saw, it only took us probably like 30 minutes, not even that bad. Yeah. Without filming, it's like 10 minutes. Yeah, true, the filming always takes a little bit longer for the installs, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. We're gonna go take some pictures right now before rain or sun. And then the next video is probably going to be, are we going to do suspension next? Probably, probably suspension. All right, or so we got either debadge or suspension video coming next. So you guys stay posted for that. We're going to do a little mini build series with Tacoma. John's got some cool stuff planned for it. So thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Follow me and John on Instagram. I'll have my username probably in one corner and John's in the other corner. And follow us both on Instagram and then swipe right on our Tinders. And thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Right on Tinder. <laughs> Dude, I actually got on Tinder. <laughs> hey.